Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play Lama Lana. So this is the last time I stocked up on Sharkins, and we're gonna jump right back into the Twin Labyrinth. Find it, there it is. And we're gonna, well, fight the boss. Today's gonna be a, hopefully a shorter episode. Not because I hope it's gonna be shorter, but I just hope it doesn't take me forever to unlock the boss. And then we'll make the title for this video easy, because it can just be the boss name. And the next one can be the Dimensional Corridor, because that's where we're going to be going in the next episode. Theory. So first things first, got to get to that pink room. And I missed the platform. Go me. I think I do. Or the platform can so kindly reset itself. That's a neat little trick there, I guess. Miss the platform, pop back to the previous room, and it shall return. It's kind of like an elevator call button. Just the elevator never actually stops. Alright, so this room. We want to kill the witches, but not the extra witch. It's not a hand scanner. Yeah. It actually says something useful. However, it still doesn't make a ton of sense. Paralyzed. I just want to kill the witch. Alright, we don't want to kill that one. I do want that experience, however. We will leave you be. Okay. Would like to escape. Thank you. Okay. Let us escape. Ah, we escaped. So with that, let us take more damage from a witch. There's a, a matching trapdoor there or not. I'm not going to stand on it to find out at this point in time. Let's keep going. We've got some matching pink room, at which point something should be different. In theory, anyway. Ow. Stupid lizard. I hope I did this all correctly. Ow. And my plan is, of course, here, if that wasn't obvious, I'm just gonna reveal the Ankh and then go heal, because I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna fight the boss with this low health. do want to kill that one. The Ankh has revealed itself. So, be back in just a moment. And with the magic of editing, we are back. And by editing, I mean just pausing and resuming the recording. Boss time. Oh yay. 
No, and she broke the platform on us, yes. Oh, lightning. Ow. Uh -oh. Ow. And lightning. Alright. And fire. There's apparently a pattern with that. I'm just not sure exactly what the pattern is. Lightning. Thank goodness for shurikens. That's all I can say. Fire coming up. Aha! And dodge the lightning. Can I... Not quick enough. Hey, alright, we can actually damage her with weapons, too. Ow. This doesn't seem too bad. And lightning again. And burst of energy. Why? No. Why? Damn it. Uh-oh. What are you doing? This is, no. Oh, great. And ghosts now? Not cool. At all. So, be back in a moment. Haha, and we are back. Alright, boss time. First things first, get to the left side of the room. You'll dodge the initial lightning strike by standing here. And then immediately after that, she'll shoot eight little white bursts of energy that you can also dodge block with your shield, and you just basically wait for it to do that, and if it hits, would hit you, the shield wouldn't block it. Fire, it's gonna go in order. I cannot for the life of me actually manage to dodge that, so... Hopefully I can kind of just brute force my way through this first phase, so the... Second, oddly easier phase. Like there, I tried to dodge it. Here we go. Alright, this phase is actually easier because you can dodge pretty much everything all the time. Except for the one lightning attack. But, what can you do? Alright, first things first, get to the top left platform. Kill the witch right after it spawns and become, become solid. Generally, you don't want to jump into her. That was just kind of me trying to... And I know what the hell I'm doing. I wonder if flares would work. Not from that spot, apparently. You can hit and kill those blue ones. Unfortunately, you just don't want to get hit yourself in the process. Right, lightning attack. I'm not sure the save spots. It seems somewhat random, but after the first one, as long as you're kind of in the middle of where the last strike was, you'll be okay. Now the witches are coming back, do your best to kill them when, if they happen to be near you, but don't go out of your way. Like there, that one happened to be close, so I killed it. And you can sort of interrupt Baphomet, if you hit her, you know she's just phasing right back out and flying away. Or I guess, phasing away or something. Don't 
get hit, don't get hit. Alright, perfect. random, I'm dead. Right, I'm lucky for that one. Come on, let me hit you. Nice. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I remember something from the last game. Son of a bitch. Dodge these last fireballs. Apparently, I found a nice safe spot and didn't get hit by any of them whatsoever. Assuming that's actually it. There's the little eyeball thingy. Is that it? Victory music? Hey, yeah, but if you buff him it. And fortunately, this was in fact the name of the boss. So since you only saw the edited version of this, I probably getting on 50 attempts at beating this boss total. Yeah, it just kind of wasn't working well at all. But I did it eventually. That's the important part. Um. This actually opens up some new stuff. I'm not sure if we're going to go to the Dimensional Corridor like I'd originally said prior to this episode, or if we're going to go to the now new, newly opened area, but all I know is I'm getting the hell out of here, going to the surface, saving. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have a great day.